Hello everyone, good afternoon. My name is SR Pusti. You are watching my beautiful channel Love You Science. So in this lecture, what I'm going to do, I'll let you understand the concept of basic terminology of DC circuit from the subject basic electrical engineering. So let's start. These are the following points I'll cover in this lecture. The active element and passive element, linear element and non-linear element, bilateral element and unilateral element. And what is the definition of circuit? What is the difference between junction and load? What is the difference between loop and mesh? And what is branch? So first we'll discuss about active and passive element. See, active element kya hota hai? Active element matlab the element which provides energy. The elements which provides electrical energy. Which energy? Electrical energy. Or you can say the element which is able to deliver some kind of electrical power. Like your generator. Generator is a active element because from generator we are getting electricity. Or we can say battery. Battery is an active element. From the battery we are getting some potential difference or electromotive force. Matlab, the generator and battery these are the active element which can able to deliver some electrical power. Next is passive element. Passive element kya hota hai? Deekho, passive elements are those elements which consume the electrical power. Like your register, inductor and capacitor these are the passive elements. So in case of register what happens? If we will provide some current to the register, that register will consume that energy and that energy will be dissipated in terms of heat. That energy will be I square RT. Matlab here register will consume that energy, so that energy will further dissipated in terms of heat. Similarly, in case of inductor, what happened? When you provide some current to the inductor having inductance cell, the energy will be stored in terms of magnetic field, which is half L I square. Matlab first inductor will get energy from the power supply then that energy will be stored in terms of magnetic field for further uses. Similarly capacitor is a passive element. It stores the energy in terms of electric field. That energy will be half CV square. Matlab whenever we are providing a potential difference to a capacitor then that capacitor will store the energy in terms of electric field. So here what you conclude? A generator and battery these are the active element inductor capacitor and resistor these are the passive element so concrete notes i have mentioned here you take some time and note it down this is the exact definition which supplies electrical energy to the circuit which receives electrical energy example is generator battery here example is resistor capacitor and inductor so <coughs> for your understanding i can take one example here in the circuit we have two sources matlab two active element e1 and e2 both are battery these are the active element and three passive element, all, all are registers. Here I have taken only register as the passive element. So you can say in that circuit there are two active element and three passive element. Next is the difference between linear element and non-linear element. Linear element kya hota hai? Linear element mein kya hota hai? The, the graph between voltage and current will be straight line. Or you can say linear element follows, it follows which law? Ohm's law. Matlab the element which follows Ohm's law that is called linear element. Uh, you can say also the graph, the graph between voltage and current will be straight line or the characteristics is linear. Characteristics is linear. So register, capacitor, inductor these are the linear elements. Again I repeat in case of linear element, uh, the element which follows Ohm's law or the graph between voltage and current will be straight line or the characteristics will be straight line or linear you can say. But in case of non-linear element, in case of non-linear element what happen? <coughs> in that case the, uh, the graph between voltage and current will be non-linear in nature. Okay or you can say it does not obey, it does not obey Ohm's law. The characteristics is non-linear in nature. Characteristics mode of the graph between voltage and current. So you might have studied in class 12 the characteristics of diode. So diode is a non-linear element. Diode like transistor. So any kind of electronic circuit uh, switches or you can say semiconducting switches. These are under non-linear categories. Uh, so you might have studied this kind of graph in case of diode. Here it will be followed by here it is reverse bias but in case of linear the graph will be straight line so that is the basic difference between linear and non-linear elements 
so i have written this notes for you you take some time and note it down this exact definition with example okay so next moving to another point that is a uh, bilateral element and unilateral element the bilateral matlab bi means two bilateral elements matlab uh, through that element current can flow in both the direction matlab current can flow in both the direction like your resistor capacitor inductor these are the bilateral element i'm giving an example here let we have a resistor of resistance 5 ohm and your power supply of potential difference is 10 volt so tell me what is the current and direction of current so here current is voltage upon resistance 10 by 5 it is 2 ampere so the direction of current is clockwise so now the point is if i change the polarity if i change the polarity keeping all the parameter as fixed 10 volt and 5 ohm resistor what is the magnitude of current it will be same magnitude will not change only direction will change so corresponding element is called bilateral element matlab current can conduct in both the direction in both the direction current can flow but in case of unilateral element but in case of unilateral element kya hota hai current can flow in one direction current can flow in one direction like example kya hai example is diode transistor all semiconductor devices uh, elements or devices these are under unilateral categories okay in case of diode what happen you know that let this is it is symbol of diode so now if we provide a potential difference so the speed terminal is forward bias n terminal is reverse bias so current ke, current the, the current ka direction kya hoga clockwise hoga now if i change the polarity then what is the conduction current zero मतलब करंट कैन फ्लो इन ए पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन कंप्लीट नोट्स आई हैव मेंशन हियर यू नोटेड डाउन देखो इलेक्ट्रिकल कंपोनेंट दैट अलाउज करंट फ्लो इन बोथ द डायरेक्शन बट इन केस ऑफ यूनिलैटरल अलाउज करंट टू फ्लो इन वन डायरेक्शन एग्जांपल इज डायोड ट्रांजिस्टर हियर एग्जांपल इज रेजिस्टर इंडक्टर एंड कैपेसिटर आई थिंक इट इज क्लियर सो नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सर्किट what is the meaning of circuit circuit kya hota hai circuit consists of uh, active element and passive element or you can say it's a arrangement of active element and passive element that is circuit i am giving an example so here i have taken a small example let in this case there are two active element e1 and e2 both are batteries and r1 r2 r3 are the passive element so you can say it is a circuit or it is a network the network which consists of active element and passive element so next next is next is node node kya hota hai dekho node is a equipotential point uh, through that point two or more than uh, two elements are connected okay two or more than two elements two or more than two elements yaad rakhna hai cheez but junction kya hota hai junction matlab it is a equipotential point through which three or more than three circuit elements are connected see here in this circuit you see okay in this circuit you see if i if i say a a is a point a is a equipotential point where two elements are connected matlab a is a node and similarly b b is a point where uh, two or more than circuit elements are connected so b is a node similarly c c is a point through that point there are two circuit elements are connected and d is also a node so matlab in this circuit there are how many nodes four node a b c d there are four nodes but what is junction junction matlab it is a equipotential point through which three or more than three circuit elements may be connected so we can say here b is a point b is a point through which three or more than three circuit elements are connected matlab b is a junction similarly d is a point where more three or more than three elements are connected so b and d both are junction i think it is clear the difference between node and junction it is very important to understand the difference between node and junction node matlab it is a equipotential point where two or more than two circuit elements are connected but in case of junction it is a equipotential potential point where three or more than three circuit elements are connected 
okay so fourth one is <coughs> loop loop kya hota hai loop is any kind of closed path is called loop loop like this is a closed path i can say a b d a it is a loop or i can say this is a loop i'll start from b then i'll end with d so b c d b it is a loop or i can say a b c d a a b c d a so there are how many loop there are three loop in this circuit again i repeat loop is a closed path but mesh kya hota hai mesh is the is a shortest path or it is a closed path it is a shortest form of loop it cannot further divide again i repeat mesh is a closed path which cannot further divide so here we can say a b a a sorry a b d a that is a mesh because it cannot further divide similarly if i say b c d b that is a mesh so there how many mesh two mesh again i repeat loop is a closed path mesh is a closed path but it cannot further divide okay next last point is your branch sixth point ब्रांच क्या होता है ब्रांच इज ए पाथ बिटवीन टू जंक्शन ब्रांच इज ए पाथ बिटवीन टू जंक्शन सो द हाउविंग जंक्शन बी एंड डी सो दिस वन इज ए पाथ एंड दिस वन इज ए पाथ दिस वन इज ए पाथ ओके आई एम चेंजिंग द कलर हियर ओके सो दिस वन इज ए पाथ ओके सो यू कैन से इट इज ए ब्रांच ब्रांच इज ए पाथ बिटवीन टू जंक्शन फ्रॉम बी एंड डी देर इज ए ब्रांच और दिस वन इज ए पाथ दिस वन ऑल्सो इज ए पाथ so there are how many path there are three path or you can say there are three branch how many branch three branch okay so that is all about the introduction part of dc circuit or basic terminology this is the note i have written so it will help you in exam so better you understand the concept first then you note down this uh, notes so my sincere advice to all of you first to understand the concept then notes likhna is very easy if you understand the concept you can easily note it down uh, in your own language okay so here definition you can uh, read no circuit load junction loop mesh and branch so with this i am ending this lecture hope you guys understood thank you so much for watching my video thank you thank you keep smile thank you